What's up, guys? Alright, then. Um, So, the video is going to be about uh, D16 or D series. Let's put it this way all D series, if you guys have any issues with H beam rods. Again, I'll repeat H beam rods. Um, the H beam rods usually hit on the walls right here. Alright, so I'll explain what I'm doing. I got a EK hatch, a 99 EK hatch DX with the Y7 original engine that I bought a couple years ago from an old man. Um, it was completely 100% stock. He babied it. Um, it even had original exhaust on it. Um, everything. Like, it, it was good AC and everything. So, original paint and all. No rust at all. So, it's my daily. My only car. My daily. And um, I can't take out the engine from it because then I won't have a car to get back and forth to work. Alright. So the only thing I did on the hatch that I converted was the Y7 intake, which is right there. My bad. It's right yet, yeah, right there. Um, And I converted it to the white, which I already got that. But right there where it's covered... And foam right there. That's the white head. This is the white block that I bought separate. So I sent it to the machine shop to get the size right because obviously I got um one oversized high compression piston, so I needed to get this board out. Um I also did the block guard. If you guys can see super tech block guard right there. Um, so I took it to the machine shop, and he was a ripoff. I would never take it to him again. Um, the whole point was I take, I took him, the, I gave him the piston, gave him the rods, and I told him what I'm doing. So I told, after, so he told me it takes a week. He ended up taking about, like, four weeks and a half to five weeks. He took just to do my block. At first, he said it was going to be... Three like it was gonna be three fifty to do everything, and then he ended up charging me four twenty. My bad, yeah, it was like four twenty five and some change with tax and all that, just to do the boarding and the uh, super tech um, blood guard. So he told me himself, because I even asked him, and then he told me, yeah, you might have some issues with the H-beam rods, because the H-beam rods might might hit here, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, you know, I told you to check it out for me, and if anything, to do it for me. He was like, yeah, but if I do it for you, I'm going to have to charge you 200 bucks extra. I'm like, 200 bucks just to do that? Nah, I was like, fuck that, I'll do it myself. You've already had my block... For a long time already, and you kept telling me, oh, this week is going to be done, this week is going to be done, and, and that week passes by, and I don't hear nothing from you. Then you get mad when I call you to ask if my block is ready. So, and you keep telling me no. And now you want to charge me 200 bucks for something that we already discussed about. You want to charge me 200 bucks just to fucking do that, just to notch the, the edges that the piston and rod touches. I was like, fuck that. So then... Uh, I asked him just because I was curious to see, all right, so if you do that for me, how much would you charge me to do that? And then put the pistons back, you know, put the pistons with the crank, everything bolted, ready to go. He said, all right, so to do the notching, I'll do 200. And then to put the piston rods on there, which I already had the pistons with the piston rods already connected. The piston and the piston rods were connected already. All you had to do was just put it on here. Um, just put the O-rings on it. Put the pistons on here and the crank and bolt it up. That's it. Which I have the screws. I have ARP. Everything for it. So I don't understand why he is charging so much money. 200 to notch to cut these on the sides so the rods don't touch. Plus 250 to mount it. Like, are you serious? I was like, you know what? Forget it. I was like, I'm done. Just, I'm done. <laughs> so he was trying to charge me 500 for just for the job that he did, which was to get, you know, the size, which is 76. One oversized. 
And I said, nah, you told me it was like 350. Now you're going up to 500. I was like, nah, that's bull crap. So we argued about it. So I ended up paying four, 425. I ended up paying, which is still a lot of money. I just wanted that block out of there. I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with him no more. I'm never giving him business again. And my issues is I'm in Florida. You know, I love Florida. It's awesome. I moved down here from Jersey, um, South Jersey, in fact. Um, so I moved to Florida. Um, and uh, I'm in uh, Orlando. Well, actually, no, I'm half Kissimmee, half Orlando. Um and I can't find any any machine shops. Like the only machine shop that was coming up on internet was the one that I took it to. And then I kept asking a bunch of people, and they kept telling me they don't know. And the, all the ones that were closer was uh, an hour, like thirty minutes away, an hour forty five minutes around there. And I don't got time to drive all the way down there and you know back and forth since I worked and I was freaking working eighty six plus hours a week. You know, so I let's just get home and leave. And that's it. Like, go to work, come home, sleep for an hour. All right, sorry. So uh, anyway, I paused the video real quick. Somebody came in to ask me something. But um, anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, um, I work a lot, a lot of hours. I don't have time for anything except right now. Right now, the job since it's a, uh, it's a, it's it was like temp work. So, for a couple of weeks, I was super busy, um, and right now, it kind of slowed down, so now I'm just, like, hopping on this, trying to get it done as soon as I can, because, you know, I just can't wait to get this on there and, and see, um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I bought the grinding bits, uh, so, I got these, you know, obviously, you know, Grinding stone bits. I'll show you one more time just in case you guys are curious. So I got these at Harbor Frey. I think they were like four something or whatever. Not bad. And then, yeah, so I did these myself. I already checked this side of the piston hit. The rods hit. Doesn't hit. It's awesome. It's working good. I did the other sides. Now I'm going to clean everything. Make sure that after you're done, you clean everything before you mount any pistons with the rods or whatever and the crank on there. All right, you don't need to put these on there. You can just put the um the crank on there. Just lube it a little bit. Put the crank on there. You don't have to bolt it on, and just put the piston with the rod. You can even hold it on there, and then um and then so I did. You know, just make sure you clean everything. Um, my bad. Somebody came in again. I had to pause it again. Um, so yeah, just turn it. Keep turning it and just hold the piston and just see the rod if it hits and whatnot. If it doesn't hit, then you're good. Take it out. Cut every single one and test every single one. After you're done, make sure you clean everything really good. And, you know, before you mount everything, because there can't be any aluminum or metal or dirt or whatever on there at all. Um, and please make sure you do not hit the walls at all because, you know, if you do, once the piston rings pass through there when the piston rotates back and forth, um, it will have some uh, compression lost. And that's not good. Um, so definitely be careful. You can do a little bit down or like, you know, right there. You can You don't have to do the top only. You can do a little bit down. Where the piston goes because the piston ring will not go all the way up there at all. So you're good. You're safe with that. But yeah, I mean, I don't really do videos. Uh, I just thought, you know, somebody might have the same issues or they don't know what what's going on or what they can do. It's easy. You can do it yourself. You could just have to kind of think and invent and be patient. I was patient for a long time, especially with the money I already spent, money I didn't have to spend. Um, you know, but I learn, you know, you learn from your mistakes and you learn from shops that you go to. <laughs> so I know for a fact I'm not taking it to that shop ever again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really do any videos. I just decided to do this video and see, you know, what people, um, you know, I mean, if it helps anybody out, you know. So if, if it did, if you liked the video, if it helped out at all in any type of way... 
or if you have any questions or you want me to post any other videos, please let me know. Hit that thumbs up. Um, comment at least, leave some comments if the video at least was helpful. If uh, you have any questions at all, just let me know. Alright, I'm here to help out. Um, I'm the type of person I like to help because, you know, if I go through something and, you know, somebody already knows about it, you know, and it helps, you know, because I've seen some videos that actually did help me out with something I didn't know. We're not perfect, we learn every day, so, yeah, I mean, I am a mechanic, I, I work on all my cars, I keep my cars up to date, you know, I learned through my father, he's a mechanic for many years, and, you know, I thank him for the experience I have now, and at least I, I know how to manage my own things, and, you know, obviously if I could have just done the block, I, I would have done it. Alrighty, so anyway, I'm done. This is the video. Um, somebody interrupted. I had to pause the game, the the freaking video. Was, now my dad uh needs me to go pick up a car so we can work on it. You know, he's always busy, so it's like back to back. I never can actually just sit down and work on my car. I always have something else to do, even on my days off. There's always some. But um, that's why I don't do any videos, because I just don't have the time or, you know, at all. But today I have a little time, so anyway, you know, I showed everybody, you know, kind of my way, how I did it. It's cheap, it's easy, um, you just have to put a little bit of pressure on it just to kind of grind it, you know, or notch it or whatever you want to call it, smooth it out. And yeah, and that's it. But um, if you guys did enjoy this video, if it helped out in any way, please hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I barely put any videos up, but I'm going to keep trying to put more videos up. And if you guys want any videos at all or have any ideas, please let me know what's up. Let me know what you want me to post. Or if you have any questions, I'm here to help out. Remember, we a team, we family, we're here for each other. If you guys ever need anything, I'm here. You know, that's, we got to have each other's back. When it comes to any type of situation in life, we're all here for a purpose. We all here to live, learn, and just move up in life. So, if you want to subscribe, if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine with me. But, um, yeah, just please hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions, hit me up. Alright? Peace.